Hi everyone. I just want to start by saying a big thank you to all my followers and everyone who's watching and liking these videos. Today we're going to be working on a white line lesion that went into an abaxial fissure. I'll explain a little bit on into the video what an abaxial fissure is. This is a two part video, so I'm going to speed up certain areas to get to the good parts. Most of my followers probably already know this, but the white line problem stems right here. It's called a white line lesion because of this white line right here, and that separates the outer horn from the inner horn. The outer horn actually grows from the hairline down, and then the sole horn grows straight out. This is a little harder to explain without actually showing you in person. Right now I'm just cleaning up the hoof a little bit before digging into the problem. I don't know how bad this problem is going to be yet, so I'm just trying to go slow and chip away all these little pieces of horn. A lot of people think that the horn is only on the head of an animal, but that's not true. The horn is also on the foot. This is technically called hoof horn. I say hoof when I'm talking about the whole foot in general. What I'm doing now isn't actually hurting the cow. This would be equivalent to just picking away at your fingernail a little bit. It's only when I get down to the live flesh where it starts to hurt her a little bit. And you may notice how that spot is getting bigger and it's darker. That means there's an open cavity in there that I need to get to. As I picked away, I noticed that red speck on the top left of her claw. And I had to investigate that and it turns out that that cavity actually opens up all the way to the heel. This cow is definitely in need of a block. Right now this tool is called a rasp. And what this does is it roughs up that other claw so that the glue can stick better. I know my current followers love me repeating this, but on average, a cow's horn will grow back one quarter of an inch every month. I'm gonna be using a wood block on this farm. They prefer a wood block because the rubber blocks get stuck in their manure pumps. This block is going to act like a crutch for the cow so that she can put all her weight on this block and not on that lame claw. I hope you enjoyed it so far and I hope you stick around for part two. If you're watching this and you haven't seen part one, go to my page and watch part one before watching this. Now that we have the block on the other claw, that glue has time to set and we can start picking away at the problem. A big question I always get is what if she has this problem on both claws? And for that, there's not a whole lot you can do other than open them up like I am now and treat them and wrap them and tell the farmer to put the cow on a bed pack that's soft and allow that cow to relax and lay down as much as she wants to until that hoof has time to heal. Right now I'm picking away at all the loose horn and the loose horn is any horn that's not fully attached to the sole. You can see there's a gap that I just keep finding and picking away at. It's important to get all that out of there, otherwise it'll grow over the problem and potentially make it worse and it'll definitely hold moisture and that's not good. Most of the cow's weight is put on this outer horn right here, so this outer horn is a lot harder than the sole. It was actually too hard to pick away at, so I had to take the grinder out and thin it down a little bit so that it's a little bit easier. Her foot isn't that dirty, but there's no need to clean it other than the area that I'm working with because she's going to walk right out of the chute and it's going to get dirty all over again. And the wrap will keep any dirt out. You can see now how that white line lesion stemmed into this abaxial fissure. And that's usually a breakdown in the outer wall of the hoof that it usually extends to the hairline of the cow. The hairline is also known as the coronary band. Right now I'm just applying some antibacterial solution to keep it clean as I pick away. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can not to cause the cow any further pain. Unfortunately this problem does need to be opened up so that it can start healing properly. Right now she's getting wrapped with iodine mixed with salicylic acid which is aspirin for pain and then a little bit of cotton for some cushion and this wrap will stay on one to two days until the farmer takes it off and that block will wear down probably within a month or two or fall off on its own. And that's how we fix that problem, and I hope this cow gets better really fast, and I hope I don't have to see your lame again. Thank you, and please follow me for more content.